Good evening, everyone. I'm Sophie Erber. Steve Aspen is on assignment. Tonight on your TV6 Early News, sentencing day for a downstate woman arrested in the UP on drug and assault charges. You'll find out tonight with a judge handed down. Rules of the road. Officials tell us the safest way to navigate around a car crash. A narrow escape for a tow truck driver nearly struck at an accident scene this week in Agani Township. And his store has been a landmark for decades on the road to Big Bay. But Phil Pierce tonight is fighting for his life. His battle with cancer. Hello everyone. A downstate woman was sentenced today on assault and drug charges. After the recent crash involving two Michigan State Police troopers, the MSP is reminding motorists to use caution. Tuesday, two state police troopers and another driver received minor injuries in a three-car crash in Nagani Township. The state police vehicle was parked in the inside lane of traffic with lights on for traffic control after responding to a prior crash. A vehicle trying to pass another car lost control, striking the vehicle and the state police vehicle. MSP troopers remind motorists the law requires drivers to slow down and move over if possible when approaching a crash scene. But people get in a hurry, we're seeing uh, they're not slowing down for us. Um, it is a felony if you do injure or kill somebody, whether it's police, fire, EMS that are on scene. Again, slow down, you need to give us extra space. There may be other people that are around that are, have been injured in the crash. If you are in a crash, officials say the best thing to do is to call 911 and remain in your vehicle until authorities can arrive. And an incoming tow truck driver is asking UP drivers to please drive safely after suffering two close calls in just one week, one of which was at that accident we just told you about in Nagani Township. Brett Antelo was called by state police on Tuesday night to pull that vehicle trapped in the center median in front of Castles. While he was doing so, an approaching car spun out of control and veered towards him. Fortunately, the police parked their car in front of Antela and it blocked that car from hitting him directly. Both cars were totaled. The state police weren't there protecting me. It's very possible it could have been me that would have happened to him. It, it's a miracle that nobody got hurt any worse than they did and that, that things panned out the way they did. Like I say, if they weren't there, I, I very well could not maybe not be standing here. Everybody has to obey to emergency vehicles, tow trucks alike, any vehicle with lights on the side of the road, you need to move over to the left lane. Even if I am sitting on a shoulder, you still have to give me a lane. Tow trucks, ambulances, cop cars, no matter where you are, you need to merge over to the left and it is the law. This accident was just three days after Brett was almost hit by another car that spun out of control at Best Buy and Marquette. In that incident, Antela had to dive behind his vehicle to avoid being hit. He estimates 75% of accidents he sees are avoidable from things like driving too fast for conditions or with tires that are too bald. Michigan Tech received grant money from one of the largest companies in the world. General Motors gave $110,000 to provide continued support of student activities. Michigan Tech and General Motors have shared a partnership since 1940. The money will go to pre-college STEM outreach programs, automotive programs, and funding for Michigan Tech's Center for Diversity and Inclusion Department. General Motors says diversity plays a major role in corporate success. Well, diversity is a huge part of General Motors. We're a global corporation, so bringing the best minds in from the world to transform the way we move people every day is significant for us. General Motors annually grants $3 million to support leading universities all across the country. It's time for our first check on weather tonight. And Carl, I know you wanted to show the snow in Escanaba, but just proves how quickly things change. It's getting sunny there now. Right. Spring showers are occurring and they happen to be snow. In fact, take a look at our Escanaba weather cam and you can see snow on the road. It was coming down 15, 20 minutes ago. Yeah, the cold in just a few minutes. All right. Thanks, Carl. Phil Pierce has stocked Phil's 550 store with Uber personality for decades. Now he's facing a serious diagnosis. TV6's Harry Lee brings us his story. Phil Pierce, the 63-year-old owner of Phil's 550, began noticing some changes last fall. One day I just didn't feel well and uh, my balance was a little bit off and I just kind of brushed it aside and then things started to feel worse. Doctors diagnosed Phil with glioblastoma, a malignant, fast-growing brain cancer. Sure has. Thanks, Thanks, Carl. Sure. And Greg Trick joins us now with what's coming up on your TV6 News tonight. Greg? Well, Sophie, coming up tonight, four students at Woodland Elementary in Kingsford got a big surprise today. Their father returned home from a one-year military deployment overseas, and we'll show you their reunion. 
Also tonight, we continue our series on women in entering the skilled trades industry. We'll introduce you to students pursuing careers in automotive technology and construction on your TV6 News tonight. Yeah, gender is no barrier anymore. That's right. Getting a lot of hands-on experience, too. Very good at a young yep. age. Yep. Thanks, Greg. Michigan Tech gets ready for their first round of tournament play against Lake Superior State on the ice. Ethan Schmidt has a preview for us, and we'll show you a crazy full court shot you just have to see to believe. Your sports is next. If adopted, these new rules would be the most significant change to the sport in 30 years. And of course, for more sports scores and highlights, you can visit us online at UpperMichiganSource.com. Golf's one of those sports, yeah, you know. I think that would make sense, though, because think about it. Even on the basketball court, they run around and they wipe up the sweat. Yeah. Or if there's if there's an obstruction, they move it generally in every other sport. Yeah, and I think it, what people were saying with the golf, at least, a lot of people were excited about it. I know Tiger Woods tweeted out how yeah. excited he was. Um, it would help out the amateurs. It would even help out the pros in the long run with yeah. some of the things be that more you would fun. exactly and some of the things that you would think maybe could be changed yeah. or should have been changed. Those are the things They'll that we looked them. at. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, nothing drastic. It'll still be golf. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Ethan. <laughs> well, it's Dr. Seuss's birthday today, and we'll show you how UP students celebrated next. Fantasy. This is the second year Birchview has done the one book, one school program. And Carl, look at our weather into the weekend. It looks like it'll be cold Friday into Friday night. We start to warm up Saturday, and then it looks like a warm spike for Sunday into Monday. All right, thanks, Carl. That does it for your TV6 early news for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt begins right now.